four hours a day we sit side by side, spending time with our partner, soon to be bright, but not without pain, irritations and conflict, right? We're taught to meet in the middle to make a concession. But don't you see this only makes for more aggression? How can our joy be multiplied? How can true peace not be denied? Not lust and pleasures without compromising, but within ourselves truly recognizing two souls who have inward peace perfected. So they are not constantly reacting, no longer distracted. The couples would truly understand. Don't compromise, they set themselves free. And for the first time, it's real love they finally see. Don't marry the wrong person. I mean, take a look at this graph. Time spent with partners, as you can see, goes up and up with time. I mean, the average American spends around three hours per day with their partner, which only goes up to four or almost even five hours in their days before. What if most of this time is spent with your partner in conflict, in pain, in irritation? I mean, I was often in conflict in my previous relationship and looking back at it I could have avoided basically all of the conflict by simply understanding how a beautiful relationship comes to life. I might get a lot of for this but as Andre Gide famously said it is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not and the key to a beautiful relationship might be the opposite complete opposite of what you might think. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people. I started making videos on YouTube in 2012. And I dedicate my time to understand the truth about my own life. As I like to say, to understand myself is to understand humanity. So I write every day to understand my own life better. And maybe through watching this video, you will understand yours better too. So. Here it is, probably the most controversial statement you've heard about an effective relationship, a joyful one, one with love, money, sex, honesty, trust, communication and love won't matter in your relationship if you pay the price of compromise instead. All of it doesn't matter if you pay the price of compromise. I've been taught to make compromises. I've been conditioned to believe that making compromises is good by my friends, by my parents, by my teachers, by my partners in romantic life and business. You should make compromise. You should be able to make compromises. It is normal. It is inevitable. Please see these for what they are. They are beliefs. And when I saw that for myself, I started to see that all the traditional rules about relationships, all the advice you hear and read and find, it is just complete nonsense. Effective relationships are rare extremely rare. I mean, look around you. How many people have you found that are never in conflict within their relationship? But now your mind starts to speak, I, I may assume. Maybe it says something like, it is impossible to have a relationship without conflict, without arguing, without irritation and so on. Now it's up to you to decide if you are going to believe this voice, because it is the same voice that is telling you to eat chips and watch Netflix all day. It's the same voice. But my question, could it be that the most successful couples do this one counterintuitive thing? That they do not make compromises. That in order for there to be true peace within a relationship, that there must be complete freedom from anything, including freedom from the need of the other person. And now the mind maybe comes up again. At least that what happened to me when I was writing this. But what if each person, both, look for complete freedom without any compromise, then wouldn't this lead to conflict itself? If I don't compromise on what I want and my partner doesn't compromise on what she or he wants, then wouldn't this lead to a battle of no compromises, of opposite desires? Wouldn't this be the inevitable situation sooner or later? Well, to answer that question for myself is let's look at those desires. What are they? Are they true desires? And in true, I mean internal desires. Are they genuine or are they just external and reactive? Or maybe better said, simply pleasures. And maybe this sounds a bit vague, so I can give an example. For example, with when it comes to sex, if one of the sides wants to have it every day and the other wants to not have it every day, maybe weekly, then, then you would say there is conflict, right, between 
desires. And what I'm saying is, is this a genuine desire or is this simply a pleasure? And only if you really look into that desire, you would only see that it, it is not really what you want yourself. It is merely your mind speaking and wanting to get what it craves. So could it be that if the man and the lady both find out what they genuinely desire, that they actually desire the same. That only if they had the focus to really look inwards, to find what it is that they actually want, that they want the same. And therefore compromise would naturally not exist. I mean, think about it. How many people know what they really want? Do you know what you really want? Crystal clear, honestly. I mean, we've been so conditioned to focus on external things that we never took the time to look inwards to the root of ourselves that we have to dig so deep remove so many layers to find the internal root of what we want and if you have two people who are serious about finding this out for themselves then they may start to see that they don't need each other to find the thing they actually desire then what is there left what is there left if you don't actually both need each other well, what about each other's presence? What's more beautiful in life than two serious human beings that don't need each other? Two peaceful creatures that can converse about the truths in their life, see reality for what it is, feel no more pain in life. Just two people who have found joy within themselves, which leaves nothing but joy around them. What is more beautiful than this, my friend? May you find this beauty in life, and may you settle never for less. Now you may leave with a sense of finally knowing what it is that you want out of a relationship, marriage, and above all, true love. How it is that you can spend all of this time in joy, not in pain, irritation, stress, jealousy, and so on. Maybe the words in this video hit you as unmistakably true. Know that it is not me, it is your desire to find out for yourself. And if you desire to find truth in your life for a specific situation, but you can't seem to find it, then know that you can always email me. I leave my email in the show notes below. And no, I won't ask you for money. I'm only interested in serious people. So if you know you're not serious, then don't mail me. I do it because sometimes it helps me see certain truths in my own life, like the ones that I talk about in this video. Talk soon.